Hey guys, Full Cards here at Live and Network from Brooklyn, New York. Going to do a quick recap of the 2011-2012 Pinnacle from Panini. Uh, Low-end product. This is a retail box, so it's only about 20 bucks. Uh, and you could theoretically get one or two memorabilia cards, so that's a benefit of this particular box. Uh, in terms of uh, breakthrough rookies, I guess they're called icebreakers. Uh, there's Mark Scheifele, Zabina Jad, Landis Gog, Nuge. Um, I think they're also rookies of Alexi Emlin, if you're into that, and a couple of other ones like Adam Henry, Adam Larson, etc. Uh, so what did I get? Um, well, I'd be looking for the breakthrough rookies with the Nufex technology, which is sort of a foil technology or ring collection technology, whatever they call it. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. I got loads of base. So there's one stack. Boom. There's another stack. Uh, and boom. Put that on top. There's another stack. So in terms of the base, you probably get 90% of the base set, which, is, which isn't which is bad. You almost get the entire set. Uh, you probably miss one or two cards per 10 cards. So you get 85% of out of the base set. The cards themselves, um, typical Panini uh, look, in other words, very sort of papery, uh, much like Score, etc., Dunross, etc., uh, except they are horizontal this year. So the photography is pretty much as good as I've seen it. Um, it's very sort of ser Series 1, Series 2 forward, uh, very action adventure ish. Um, so that's basically it in terms of our base. Uh, lot so that's great for people for kids um, trying to build sets uh, in terms of the inserts I'll go through the inserts fairly quickly uh, there are captains inserts I don't know how many there are maybe one captain per team uh, so I got one of them and I got Nick Lidstrom I also got uh, there are canvas creators I think it's a 15 no 18 set insert subset uh, so these are actually canvas cards, again, like the Series 1, Series 2. So you see they're sort of duplicating or mimicking uh, them at a lower price point. And you can see that this one of Jordan Eberle is a little bit more, it's like a watercolor sort of um, canvas. So like an actual painting. Uh, in terms of the foundation, I got some foundation cards. Again, another subset of probably about 20 cards, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I did get the Marty De, uh, Brodeur and the Zach Parises, and the other ones is the uh, Sid the Kid and Mark Letestu. Uh, so these are kind of cool, these sort of dual cards. Um, and you see on the back, they have some, I guess, I don't know, sort of Adobe-looking uh, composite shots. Adobe Illustrator or something. Pretty basic technology there. In terms of these guys, I think these are called breakthroughs. So again, another subset of probably about 20 cards. And I got the Claude Giroux. So it's a lot of inserts, a lot of sort of low end inserts. Uh, finally, in terms of the ring collection parallels, our parallel cards is a parallel of the base. And there you see, I guess, with the new effects technology or whatever they call it, um, it's a foil card. And this is just a parallel of the base card. So that's that. And then we were guaranteed a few rookies. I did get four rookies. Uh, unfortunately, I got pretty low-end rookies. So I got Brandon Nash, uh, again with that technology, the foil technology. Uh, if you're a Habs fan, that's not bad if you're collecting Habs prospects. I got the Zach Ronaldo. Uh, I got the Eric uh, Goodbranson. And I got the Adam Larson. So Adam Larson is probably the best one of that particular batch of rookies. In terms of finally, in terms of memorabilia cards, I did get two memorabilia cards. Uh, I got this one. It's a Threads of Rick Pietro. So for Isle fans, uh, for, you know, he was, I think they overpaid him, if you recall collect, uh, correctly. Uh, so here's a Rick Pietro. And then finally, I got this Taylor Hall Game Night. Uh, so it's a second year card for Taylor Hall, so that's not bad. And Taylor Hall, in fact, was on the cover of the pack in the box. So this is what the packs look like. Uh, again, the only real difference between the retail and the uh, hobby would be that you'd probably get more hits. You'd, you maybe have a likelihood of hitting the... Uh, auto card um, rookies. There's a couple of those of the high-end rookies. Uh, I don't know if you're if you can get that in a retail box. Maybe if you get a case hit and you're lucky. Anyway, so that's full. That's me. I'm Fulton Cards Live and Direct from Brooklyn, New York.